Charlie Plummer and Steve Buscemi star in Lean on Pete, which is the newest A24 film. Uh, I'm a big fan of the company, and I know a lot of people out there that are as well, which is why I'm emphasizing that this is an A24 film, and one of the reasons why I was very excited about this film, even though it's a horse movie, and I'm not a big fan of horse movies, uh, especially with the premise. The premise is about a boy named Charlie who uh, lives with his dad, uh, his mother's out of the picture, and he starts working for this owner of a bunch of horses, played by Steve Buscemi, and he starts to basically get attached to this horse called Leon Pete, and he takes the horse, and it's like, oh, you know, like, based on the trailer, it's like, oh, you know, he's destined for this horse, and like, you know, it's about a boy and his horse relationship, almost like war horse, but... I'm happy to say it's not. It is not that kind of film at all. Um, in fact, this is not a schmaltzy film at all. It is actually a very realistic film. I mean, th I never thought I would say that about this film, but it is very realistic. Um, I loved how the father-son relationship uh, wasn't your typical, like, you see the dad and, like, you see he's unhappy and, like, how he drinks alcohol, but... You know, they don't show it where it's like, oh, he's like, you know, he hates his son because he drinks and like, you know, because he's no longer married. It's like, no, it shows that just because you drink doesn't necessarily mean that, hey, you're an alcoholic and that you hate your son. For It actually shows that there is a real dimension to this relationship between the father and son. And you, you get a lot of uh, time to see this, which I really appreciated. In fact, the character development across the board is very, very well developed, and the story is just as great. In fact, I found it to be unpredictable, and I never thought I would say that about this film, because it seems, based on the trailer, very easy to pick up on what's going to happen, but I got about halfway through and I was like, I don't know, man, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, but it's also a beautifully shot film. I mean, the film, there are a lot of scenes in the dark, but you can still tell what's going on, and they use a lot of wide-angle shots to get you, as an audience member, to understand the emphasis of, you know, what is going on. I don't want to spoil anything, because I was surprised with everything that happened in this film. Um, I do think that it's not a perfect film. I think that at two hours and four minutes, it is a bit too long. Um, there is, around the halfway point, there are... A couple scenes where I get what they were trying to do. They were trying to give the emphasis of the passing of time, but at the same time, it kind of ruined the flow of just the natural organic feel to me. Although, again, I've said this about certain A24 films that it could just be that because it's my first time watching it, that's how I felt. Plus, I had to go to the bathroom towards the end of the film, but I feel as if I were to rewatch the film, maybe I would say, hey, it actually is great in terms of length but for now i'm like you know what they could have shed probably about five ten minutes off this film but nonetheless guys this is a very well done film with great characters well told story um and just overall just a great looking film that technically speaking it's good it's proficient um, so I'll be giving Lean on Pete a four and a half out of five star rating. I would definitely recommend you guys check this out. Although I know you all have probably seen Avengers Infinity War for a second or third time. But for the indie crowd, this is definitely a film that you have to watch. And for the average movie guard, watch it as well. It is a great film and it isn't an easy watch necessarily, but it is a necessary watch in my opinion. So... Check out Leon Pete, and if you have seen it, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and don't forget the subscription, notification bell, and uh, catch you guys around.